Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about creating rows, columns, and grids using Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and create up a new file. And I'm going to call this um, Bokeh, uh, I don't know, row, column, a grid dot pi, grid. So to get started, we need to make sure, and I'm just going to do, um, one example of a row and then maybe we'll do another one of a column and we'll kind of just play with it a little bit. So first off let's go on and create up um, some layers and layouts. <clears throat> so the first the easiest one to do is kind of do it just in a in a solid row. So let's go in from uh, bokeh dot layouts we're going to import row uh, and then we want from bokeh Dot plotting. We want to import a figure and show. So let's make up some data. Uh, just that much. And then y not is going to be x. Uh, y1 will be some function of that. So 10 minus i for i and x. Y2 here is going to be something like uh, absolute value of i minus 3 for i in x. Uh, and then let's go on and create our palette or create our uh, plots. Uh, create, we're going to create three um, plots and render. Okay, so let's go on and do that. So, first off, we want uh, let's just name them. Um, plot one here is going to be a figure plot width, and I want this to be small, so let's do 250. Uh, plot height is 250. We want them to be square in nature. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it as that. I'm actually going to copy this because we'll be using it again. Um, and then we want p1 dot circle and I want x why not uh, size is 10 um, and then you know what I'm just gonna again I'm just gonna do we're gonna do these as basic as possible and you know what uh, p2 dot uh, circle, uh, let's do x, y1, uh, and we'll do size is 10. And then we'll change this to, huh? whoops. Change this to three, change you to three, change you to two. Uh, and then what will we want to do here? Oh, and you know what? Instead of circles, we're going to do triangle, and we're also going to do maybe a square. Square. Okay, and here we're actually what it is, these are technically dots, but they're just uh um so for kind of like scatter plots, what we're actually just going to change them to triangles and squares. I don't really care about the colors or anything. Um, again, we're just doing this as bland as possible, just so that we can have an example in here. And let's just do show. And now here we do row, and we do here P1, P2, P3. All right, and then you can see here uh, that and you know what? I want to maybe change this up a little bit, but it will, we, th this is fine. So you can see here that we have our three, uh, our three values in, in a nice row here. Uh, we can also do something um, to um, to maybe define some maybe of their sizing behaviors or anything else if we want to. Uh, but again, we can um, maybe you want them to be in a very specific. Um, uh, to, to help maybe with their sizing a little bit. And so let's go on and give that a try. So I don't want this 
Oh, this is just from before. So let me clear this. All right, so let's go on and try this. We can try a little bit with their sizing behaviors. So we want something here, and we can say something like a, a children. And again, uh, this is all three of those in a nice uh, row. And then we can have we can change the sizing uh, mode. Whoops. Mode here, and we can use this with the scale width. And if I run this now, you can see that it will autofill for our the size of your width of your screen. And again, I find this to be uh, I I'm a big fan of this um, uh, scaling and this kind of like this either the stretch or the scale width. So then everything will kind of fit to the screen. It has a little bit better feel to it. And again, we can see here if we if we make it smaller, again they they adjust automatically. Uh, while we scale things. And this is, again, this is a very uh, kind of fun uh, way to do things. So next thing, let's go and go on and maybe play with um, the columns. Okay, and so let's go on and uh, give that a try. All right, so let's say we want um, this, and so, so let's maybe just try it this way. All we have to do, go up, and we can actually just add that. Let me change this to column. Run this down, and we can actually go here to the bottom. Column, and I'm actually going to just, we're just going to do the simple version of all of this. Whoops. And so here you can see here that they will go on and put them in a column uh, type format. Okay, and again, this is, this is always, um, very fun to um, deal with as well. Now, another way that we could um, go about this is doing something in uh, the grid type format. Again, you can um, again this is this is just doing a column. And what's kind of nice is that maybe um, <clears throat> later on we'll start talking about and using widgets. Okay, and that may be the way that you want to do it. You may want to actually put in um, a widget in. Uh, one side, okay, heat like up top, and then below you want to have the plot that it uh, generate that it that it um, messes with, okay, and interacts with, or the same thing with the columns. But let's go on and also do one more example with um, with the grid, okay, and I'll go down here. And now there are a couple different ways that you can um, deal with this. Uh, grid but the first one is uh, relatively easy and you know what let me go on and let's make um, uh, one more plot here because it'll be uh, very useful to us do four four um, and let's do something like uh, y3 is equal to um, uh, 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 what? What do we want? Let's just do. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just make it a copy of this one, and instead of this one, I can plus a plus plus. There we go. And then we'll go down here and change this to. Um, a three. So making the grid, okay, so let's do something. We can do it in a bit of a, um, let's say a, a nested uh, manner, okay? So we can do something like P1, uh, P2, P3, uh, P4, and then we can run this. Whoops, and what is it wanting here? It is wanting a callback for the handler. All right, so is this, are they not, it doesn't not, oh, whoops. And again, I forgot to put this inside of a grid. There we go. So now you can see here that it does, uh, it does this by rows, okay? So row one has just this one P1, then it has P2, P3, P4, okay? And so again, you can, you can do this in all sorts of, all sorts of ways and, um, 
Uh, now, again, you can also do something uh, very similar besides this kind of um, this grid way using using the lists. Okay, we can also go through and uh, do something like grid, and we can do something like call. Oops, I need to go up here and do uh, row column. Go back down. And we can do something like uh, column um, p1 uh, comma row and then column p2 p3 or p3 um, and then do something like um, what do we need here one two three uh, p4 I believe that should work if I if I got my examples correct all right no that did not that wasn't what I wanted uh, da, 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 da. let me see mm, somewhere I have an extra where do you want to be hold on well, let me actually just go on and let's see here we have column p1 row right and then we have column p2 p3 and then we need a comma p4 maybe that's what we're looking for yeah okay so this gives us the exact uh same thing but again it's a little bit more explicit um personally i i actually kind of prefer to uh, use the um, list notation to me it's a little bit more clear Now we do have one more way that we can deal with this we can do grid and then we can do something with a list and do p1 p2 p3 p4 and then we can actually go through and just say how many columns we want and so maybe we want two columns and then we can allow it to kind of sort it out itself so then here this will give us um, uh, two columns in here and then it'll just uh, automatically just fill with as many rows as it can um, and so again this is this is just about your particular preference and the way that you want to um, have your plots um, so I hope you guys enjoy this if you like this please comment subscribe and hit that like button and I will see you guys next time bye bye